morning, baby. You know what time it is. Hello again, everybody. We're going to be filming a segment this evening called the Snowbird Pines. And what I'm going to be doing is explain to you how I uh, got the Snowbird Pines, got it, how I created them. And as far as I know, they've never been done before. So let me pull the couple guys out and we'll show you how it's done. All right, so this is the male Snowbird. Go ahead and open them up. This is my hold back. He's pretty wiggly, but for a baby Pichiofa snake, these guys got real good attitudes. Great patterning on this guy, which was a suggestion for my wife to keep this one. She said, that looks like a good snake. And I said, yep, that's a keeper. They're eating real well, chowing on little baby pinky mice. And when they first hatched out, they were all solid white on the bottom. But now they're starting to develop a little bit of pattern down by the vent, the base of the tail. And lightening up pretty good. They were a little bit darker when they were hatched out first, but they're getting better now. So that's him, that's the male. Um, the reason why I call them snowbird pines is that I took a northern pine snake and I bred it with a classic pure Florida pine. And that's how I came up with the Snowbird name. It's a little joke, you know, the old people come down to Florida for their vacations. The Snowbirds, the Northern Pine Snake with the Florida Pine Snake becomes the Snowbird. So that's him. All right, for the female. see the pattern difference on her. She's a little bit more dark blotched. I don't know if you can get the camera down here a little lower. But kind of you can see more of the northern pine classic color phase coming through on this one. But also mixed in with the Florida because it has the definite mask across the eyes and the brown blotches going inside the black. And she's getting some of that ventral pattern going on too down here and the attitudes you can just see are super docile beautiful little snakes I still have one female that's available right now uh, she's on the web page the and she's hundred fifty bucks plus shipping or if you want to meet it Daytona if you see the video before Daytona we can meet there and save shipping money they're feeding about every four days pinky mice or uh, softers. I'm feeding African softer rats right now, but they're pinkies. They're having no problems with eating them. So that's it. That's the snowbird pine snake. As far as I know, I've never seen them done before. Uh, I could be wrong, and I'm sure I'll catch flack on uh, picture of enthusiasts by some people saying it's been done, but uh, I've never seen it. So if it's been done, y'all let me know. Otherwise, this is... Uh, my first case of seeing it done and hopefully the next year picture of this project we will have some crazy stuff coming out of the incubator so that's it thanks for watching